Now, Bob, I only have five minutes here, so I'll show you what I was talking about in jazz in terms of the difference between three note chords and four note chords opening up the chromatic scale scenario. I'll explain why later. If you look here on my keyboard, you'll see I have this thing I call an intervalometer. If you go to my website, mrnatural.net, and click on the top button on the left, it says intervalometer. You'll see a picture of this. If you just push a button to your printer and send it to your printer, it will actually print this. Unfortunately, it's designed in size for a full-size keyboard or an electric keyboard. Your little harmonium is so small, it would have to be scaled down. You'd have to have a Xerox machine, and you can scale it down 80, 86, or 82 percent to get it to fit. But the idea is, once you have this, it becomes a visual representation of the scale. And what we were talking about is spelling using this number pattern. One, three, five, major chord. Two, four, six, minor chord. Three, five, seven, minor chord. Four, six, one, major chord. Five, seven, two, major chord. Six, one, three, minor chord. Seven, two, four, diminished chord. And this is what we call the normal default template for building chords on top of the major scale. This would be true no matter where I move the slider. So if I move the slider over here to E, which has four sharps now, it's still one, three, five is major, two, four, six would be minor, three, five, seven would be naturally minor, four, six, one would be naturally major, five, seven, two, major, six, one, three, minor, seven, two, four, diminished, back to our major. So we can move this slider into any key and visually see and use the same numbers for spelling. Now what I was saying, I'll put it in C here, is when you are creating chords using a one, four, five chord progression, what happens is you're using this normal default template, and these are called primary chords. And these primary chords create the primary notes for the diatonic scale. Here's a 1, a 3, a 5. Here is a 4, a 6, a 1. A 5, a 7, and 2 spell 1. 5 chord is a 2. 3 chord is a 1. 4 chord is a 4. 5 would be a 5 or a 1, 6 would be a 4 chord, 7, seven harmonizes with a 5 chord, and then back to the 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1 are all the numbers found in 1, 4, and 5. Now an interesting thing is if I hold this 3 note chord, I can go here, I can go here. five chord. I can play anything I want here. It all works. The, prim the, the primary chords have secondary chords. The sixth chord is a minor chord. The two chords a minor chord and the three chord is a minor chord, and the same thing happens here. Those three chords together create all these white keys. So I can play a two chord. A six chord. All these notes work. In other words, I can move from any one chord play the white notes. All the white notes will work with any of those chords whatsoever. And any one chord etc. etc. But watch what happens when I try on this three note chord structure to add in a black note. sounds harsh. This is the tension between the black notes and the white notes with three note chords. Two 
much tension and you really have to get used to that. All right? An interesting thing happens if I add the seven flat to a chord, here to the four chord and add in that flat seven. That flat seven creates a tritone between the third and the seventh, which we call shells. And that tritone has so much tension that is opening up and making all the chromatic notes which used to reek before sound perfectly normal. I go over here to a four and add in that seven. Go to the five and the five chord is normally a dominant chord. Even a two if I add in the seven. Gershwin, right? Add in the three, add in the seven, four. And this opens up the, you'll notice on my slider, three flat. Blues note, five flat, four sharp, seven flat, opens up the blues scale. Go to a four, seven. I get rid of that seventh, it resolves. So three note chords stuck here, tension. Add in the seventh, opens up the chromatic scale. So any four note chord is going to open up that chromatic. Got it? For now, that's, uh, I'll leave it at that because I've got some students coming. Namaste, have a good day.